Welcome back everyone, you are watching Cyber Neuro Druid playing Scenario 22A, Face of the Enemy, in the campaign Invasion from the Unknown. It has been a while since we last encountered an enemy other than those mindless hive creatures, and the stench of decay is only getting worse. Are we sure we are going in the right direction? Oh, we are certainly heading towards a powerful dark presence whether it is the Chaos Emperor himself or not. Galas, Lord Ledinor seems to be regaining consciousness. My lord, are you all right? Oh, young Galas, that is a silly question to ask. <coughs> to say that I have felt better in my life would be quite an understatement. But I am alive, at least. I never expected to see you here, and I hear this radiant lady is the Lady of Light. Savior of health kind? How can this be? I, I I always thought Oh my lord, it is a long and sorrowful story. I suppose it rests on me to bring you up to speed. Do you think you will be able to walk on your own, sir? I am old and tortured, but not useless yet. Yes, I can walk, and perhaps I, I may still be of help. Let us get moving then. Okay, once again, the objective is explore and descend deeper underground with Galas, Elenia, or Malkisha. And in addition, I've got an extra loss condition, and that is if Ledinor dies. Now, Ledinor has zero experience. Um, he's lacking quite a lot of health, and uh, in general, is not looking all that healthy or tough. So I'm going to have to be very careful with him. Ah, the, uh, the, <laughs> the useless Troll Solus is following me around still. Oh, that's cool. I guess more drones will spawn down here eventually. Should probably try and find out what's through these gates. Okay, over here there are a lot of drones, and they look like they might well end up respawning. So I'm going to move up here, yeah that's a dead end, but all I need to do is put a healer here out of reach of anyone, and then if Alinea gets whacked, he will also get healed. Ledinor, you can go here, and no one can attack you, and the rest of you can open these gates. So what do you see, Erathan? There's a passageway, okay. Here we've got another drone, and it seems like these drones are the kind of drones that are just going to keep respawning if I don't keep moving forward. So the answer will be to keep moving forward. This drone is quite, um, these guys are quite powerful, so ideally want to block it in its little hole. Let's see if there's more back here. Well, it looks like that's the extent of it. So I should be able to block it. Oh no, there's another drone, and there is a wall. Gonna need to be careful with respawning enemies up around here. Gonna need to be careful with slow moving units as well. You're very slow. You're just gonna sit there unless you Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't even no one's gonna even aggro you. Oh you. Interesting. Okay, 
Okay. <laughs> wow, okay. This attack is, yeah. That's a thing of beauty. Glacial cold draining slowing attack. Alright, Alinea is gonna take care of these guys. Can Ledinor help? Yeah, Ledinor should get a kill here. Good, alright. Another eight or so of those and you'll be up a level. Now... Uh. Okay, that could have been worse. Do I want this loyal soulless to get experience? No. It's more useful to give it to my actual good units. Like this lady. There we go. Oh, just you, Galas. Just because it's you. You're going to run back. And I'm going to open the door. With Igor. Get a good range of view. Okay, we've got a precipice. Now, it's easy to assume that no one's going to come out over that precipice because it's a precipice. But no, I'm sure there will be flying drones, undeads, other such nasties, bats, um, maybe fire elementals. Let's see. Can't see anything yet. Okay. Press forward with Malkeshar for that. And all of my slow units can definitely go this way. No, no one aggro this guy. No need to aggro this guy. No need to aggro this guy either. Okay. Bats, yeah, I called it. Nothing too terrifying. Uh, what's down here? Who knows? Maybe nothing. Push forward with my slow units. push forward with Igor, who can see where he's going. Nothing obviously threatening up ahead. Okay, there we've got a bat. Which can reach me. So just to lure it out to the max, I'll move back one. It can still reach me, it can also reach Erethan. That's Either of those is fine, to be honest. Actually, I can move the spectre up, so the spectre blocks Erethan. Spectre's not blocking Igor, but can't block everyone. More Spectres. Spectres everywhere. You're so close to a level. Alright, everyone push forward. just get that little bit of extra health back and you heal 
and we're on our way. Okay, and people will soon soon start to respawn. In comes the bat attacks Igor, but it's in the light, which means yeah. So that is why Adelinde is not here. Oh, Galas, would that I had foreseen this. It's not fair. I should have died in her place, making a last stand against our enemies. Instead, I was captured and brought to this living hell. Why would they do this? Were any other elves captured? Did the demons want anything specific from you? Perhaps to make an example for the rest of our people? Oh, I fear I was never allowed to see or be seen by any other prisoners back in the valley, my fair lady. Then I was brought here tied and blindfolded. Although there certainly used to be other people in the dungeon, not a single one of them sounded like one of our own. As for why they kept me alive, ugh. These fiends, they have no compassion for any living creature, not even those from their own ranks. You don't want to hear of the atrocities they do to their prisoners. I'm sure you recall the stories we tell about orcs mutilating their enemies and boiling them alive. Compared to the things they do to you in here, the things they make you do, I assure you, becoming an orc's dinner would be a far preferable fate to even witnessing all this. I, Lord Ledinor, pardon me. I should not have asked. Healing! Here comes the healing! Alright, Lethra is fully healed, can push on. <clears throat> Need to get Ledinor out of here before the uh, before the drones come back. And it looks like there's a pathway down to the south, and there's a pathway up to the north. So, Igor, you just scout forward again. Okay, up north we can see a gate. Down south, who knows. Can you get onto that house? Yeah, good. All right, well, we're going to go and see what's up north anyway. Um, nasty things, nasty things in the north. Um, a brain drainer, nasty level three monster. Uh, a bat, another drone. Okay, Igor is in um, in range of all of these guys. Um, not the brain drainer. The brain drainer is is safe in place, but the sentry drone, unfortunately, yes. All right, everyone push on though. Now, because I know that, that this is the sort of place where there are respawning enemies, it's not good for anyone to get left too far behind. One of the reasons I'm trying to push everyone as far as I can. Ledinor is on full health. He's also right at the back. I'd like to remedy that, because, you know, he's a bit valuable to be right at the back, given that he has to survive and he doesn't have that many hit points. At some stage, I'd like to level him up. Uh, today will not be this day. Alright, the sentry drone is going to come out and attack one of my two spectres. The bat is probably... well, either of them might come here and attack Igor. If they do, it's a good position for him to be in. I can put my other spectre... I'm going to put my other spectre just behind. Alright. Weirdly going for the combat attack, presumably hoping to get a poison, but since since Igor's sitting on a house, it doesn't seem like the most sensible of moves. Alright, Necromancer can't get in there. Now you're actually faster than Necromancer, and that's here, interestingly. Uh, Malkesha. You deal with the bat. Alright, no more bat. Um, someone should come out and get this brain drainer to to fight. Um, how what what's these what's their resistances like? Ah, oh, they're weak to arcane. Okay. So I could ask Erethan to go up there and do that. I think it wouldn't be a too bad an idea. First though, let's kill this sentry drone. I could fly all the way around, but I'll be in the darkness if I do that. Maybe it's worth it just to have the extra chance of the kill. Oh. 
come on, Deppy. That was pretty poor. Poor form. And I'd like to use Igor to do some more scouting. Or maybe I can scout with the Spectre. Alright, so Igor, you try and kill it. There we go, it's dead. Now the Brain Drainer will come out and attack my Spectre. I can't get it to... Oh, maybe, maybe it can attack Erethan instead. Everyone else, power forward. So, Thinia, you're a bit slow across this terrain, aren't you? Alinia, fortunately, you're fast across pretty much every terrain. Someone needs to heal up Galas to full health. You go and sit in a safe place. You keep moving. Uh, unfortunately, it's just unfortunate you're so slow. Alright, I don't see anything over this way. One more? No, still nothing. I don't want to move there because I don't want the drone to. I don't want the brain drain to get into an annoying place. Okay. Now, the brain drainer is not. Unfortunately, yeah. Hmm. Erethan is going to take a fair few hits here. I think. I thought I got I got confused. Thought his melee attack was arcane, which it isn't. Still, that could have been a lot worse. Good thing that he has fifty percent defense everywhere. And I can use good old Mal, the walking wall, to get rid of that. Erethan can now come. That looks like it's going to be a dead end. Let's get Igor up to check that out. No, we can't see it. Yeah, it is a dead end, but it's not a particularly visible one. Alright, so down to the south seems to be the way I will need to go, but first I would like to check out what's behind this door. That was a bad move, actually. What the? Prong bug. It's resilient, it's level 1, it's got 37 hit points. Does it do anything special? Looks like it's just sitting there, and hopefully will be a nice easy kill that I can get some drain from. Alright, well now it's nearly dead. That seems kind of pointless, and it doesn't seem like there's anything else back here, so... Alright. We can start heading south. Got to be a little careful here, Elinia is slow. Galas is much faster, so he's better when it comes to... Anything else to see over here? Mm, no, doesn't look like it. Okay, some healing will happen. Some prog bug attack will happen. Down goes the prog bug. No enemies in sight over here. The spectre is better at scouting here because of the terrain type. Okay, we've got tentacles. We've got a river. Do they seriously expect those two to prevent our advance somehow? Okay, we've got an Imp and a Chaos Invoker. Doesn't look too threatening, but given that Malkashar's just massively lampshade hung this whole thing, 
I suspect there's more going on here than we know about. Uh, oh well, uh, no, there isn't. There's just a wall. Guess we'll find out. I'm gonna put Mal, put some Ilinia in the in the mushrooms where she gets invisibility and healing. reach her now so you go down here now there's a cuttlefish there cuttlefish are nasty am I gonna have to go up this river I hope I don't have to go up the river only 45 turns to this battle it shouldn't be quite as monstrous a crawl all right full of tentacles and uh, other such nastiness. You don't get left behind. Oh, you're so slow! Continuing down the path, these two should get aggroed by by the boss man, or maybe even maybe the boss man can go and fight tentacles. Let's we'll see if anyone else wants to attack. Haha. <laughs> 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 Alright, Galas obliterates them, regains full health. Misses with all five attacks against the tentacle, that's unfortunate. At least here though. No kill, not quite. Who to give this kill to? What a joyous kind of decision to have to make. <coughs> All right, <clears throat> annoying. Galas, then <coughs> got there in the end. All right. Wipe out the tentacle with a linear. And then before I open the door, I'm gonna be cautious. It would be nice to aggro the cuttlefish by getting it to come out of the water. I can do that with uh, with Igor, and I'll probably use its poison attack if I do that. But then the spectres can absolutely slice it to pieces. Oh, we've got a we've got a drainer, and we've got tentacles that can't really do anything. You get that house. Doesn't don't, I don't get any financial benefit from houses, but it's it's something. Go up there. Anyone else need healing? This doesn't look like it. Hmm, okay. Could fight on two fronts if this gate opens, but it's a gate. Oh, bats! Kill! No kill, and the uh, the cuttlefish doesn't come out of the water, unfortunately. But let's try and kill the tentacles. That was a lucky tentacle. It's 
still is a lucky tentacle. It regenerates at the end of its turn as well. Oh, what am I going to do with you? You get some health. Okay, now I can open this gate. Whoa! Ah, that's much better! Okay, we've got enemies. We've got Chaos Invaders. We've got a demon warrior called Ron. <laughs> I love these, these demon warriors with nondescript names. Sam in the previous level, Ron in this level. Hopefully you'll uh, use your ranged attack against Erathon. That would be beautiful. Might as well let you in two at a time, I think. Um, so, going to bring Alinea down here as well. And there are drones. You go there, get yourself into position. You come down here. Well, the only person who's going to get really wailed on here is Arathan, and, well, Alinea is in the position to. Should I even bother pursuing what's up here? There's probably... there might well not be anything interesting at all. Still... Seems fun. Gonna have to fight this choke point style. So far, going for 100% the expected strategy, which is to attack a linear. Ah, here we go. Oh. Poor Deathy. Can you hit anything? You just missed eight times in a row. And you are so close to a level. If you kill a level two unit, you'll be in there. But it looks like this cuttlefish. Well, it's just a beast in water, that's the problem. gradual killing going on. Gonna have to move Igor up to here so that I can heal up Deppy. Can anyone else get in? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright. Should be fine. It should be fine! Down here, I wanna hold my position. Good. Okay. You move up there. Get ready to help out with this fight because you can fly. And everyone else stay where you are. We'll wait for them a little bit longer to come to us. drones back here respawn. That's annoying. I'm going to have to fight them again because I haven't moved fast enough. Oops. 
someone's finally getting hits in on this cuttlefish. There's a glyph back here. And you get the kill. Good stuff. Alright, you're now extremely close to a level. But you can be ranged by this drone. Since I'm going to have to fight the drone, I might as well fight it with the absolute best person to do so, who is this forest spirit. But you can still... have you got... are you a skirmisher? No. Why can you move so fast? Oh, it's because of this... Hmm... yeah, that's annoying. I'd really rather try and avoid... Maybe if you come here instead... Yeah, that's good. Now only losers can attack. Death of the Spectre. Down here, alright, so Ilinia is looking damaged, so that means I think I'm going to use... Oh. Erethan to take out this guy, I'm going to use Ilinia to take out this demon, um, and then heal back up, and then I'm going to press forward. Good stuff, and she also is, is heading towards another level. Alright, we got drones. We don't have too many drones as far as I can see just yet. Still, I don't want to rush out there. I think I'm just going to move Galas down here so that Malkishar doesn't get too badly... Oh! There's a there's a Hellhound. It's Berserk. Okay, well, Bonk the Hellhound can actually attack Malkishar. I don't mind that. Because the drain damage should be enough. I just... I'm kind of now a little tad worried about these sentry drones coming out and killing everything. Maybe I'll put this Solus in the way. By in the way, I just mean in the way-ish. Alright, you come down there. You come down there. If you come here, the linear will heal. And then we are good. Alright, gonna take some big damage this turn from all fronts. Ah, oh, damn it. Good. Ah, oh, stupid poison attack. Yeah, do ton of damage. Okay, what's cool about that is that um the, the hellhound is still in place. So you actually try and get the kill here. Yeah, that puts you in a good position. We should concentrate on one flank at once. Malkesha... 33 or 30 on this guy, or 24 on this guy. I kind of want you to end up at the front, whatever you do. So... Alright, that's you dead. If you were lucky, you could get that kill. Erethan. Alright, that's perfect. Uh. 
Okay. Galas can hop across and block. And what have we got left down here? We've got two assault. We've got assault drones, sentry drones. Over here, things are looking a bit ropey. And the, the, the tentacle... Has that respawned or did it just come up from the south? Now, if you attack a level 4, you'll get a kill, but there aren't any level 4s here, so that's kind of a moot point. You come up here. Or maybe up here. No, just... Uh, how far can these guys move? Poor showing. Very poor. You try and get the kill. Yeah! Okay, you're on 39 health. That's nice, and you stop and get some health. Can you guys get out of the water at all? No, it doesn't seem like you can. Okay, so then you... No more enemies down here. Go and kill this brain drainer. It's almost down. Got to get out of here before these drones show up again. Over here... Elenia's not going to heal because Sothenia did damage. You come around here. Um, you don't do anything. Or just go there. Look after yourself. I should have put those the other way around. Never mind. Ah. Oh. Well, this looks like it's going to be relevant plot. We'll see. That's that thing gone. Okay, so you then... We are the Argazar people, creators of these crystal glyphs, and this is the story of our downfall. Our extensive research allowed us to select the best characteristics of all natural life forms in our domain and combine them into a new creature. Thus the Invincibles, or Shakstals, were born. Our initial intention was to use this knowledge to advance our civilization beyond the limits of mortality and achieve the dream of eternal life. However, a hostile invasion from Raithe brought our plan to an abrupt halt. After years of war, desperate for a resolution, we saw fit to employ our invincibles as weapons against our ancient enemy, and much to our amazement the plan worked. But even though we managed to fend off Raithe's forces for a while, in doing so we garnered new attention from a mysterious entity whose ex existence we had ignored thus far. A powerful beam of pure darkness struck our world, destroying our civilization and our creations. Our population swiftly dwindled, and the Rythenians took advantage of the situation. Cornered and without escape from the increasingly poisonous air, we devised a mechanism that allowed us to escape into a world beyond the veil. A primitive world devoid of intelligent life, a world stranded in a limbo between times. Although our new home was far too hostile for us to survive on the surface, we found shelter under the ground, where we decided we would try to rebuild our civilization. However, originally non-sentient, the Shakstars we brought with us somehow developed minds of their own, with new instincts and desires, and they could no longer be contained by their creators. They began to attack and assimilate the remnants of our people and spawn new generations with new, more sophisticated bodies, able to protect them against our weapons. Their numbers increased at an exceedingly fast rate, and we could do nothing to save ourselves in time. With barely a few dozen of us left, we discovered a way to thwart the Shakstal's reproductive capabilities, and thus the circle was completed. Our hope for eternal life became the instrument of our demise, and us their own. In the twilight days of our race, we were left to ponder this irony. In spite of our protests, the elders ordered us to take a few of the last Shakstal creatures and put them into preservation pods for further experimentation, believing that they might still hold the key to our survival. 
By then it was too late, and we no longer had specialists able to conduct any new research. We could only make sure to record our history and thoughts in these crystal glyphs, with the hope that perhaps someday someone will resurrect our fallen race. And they did, but unfortunately they are just annoying respawning assholes. Sorry. Yeah. Them's the brakes. Tentacle down. You fly around here. Is that really as far as you can go? I thought you were faster than that. I guess not on water. Uh, I suppose I'll put you close to land. You, however, can come down here and deal with this one tentacle that's sticking its nose in where it doesn't belong. Beautiful. Alright, you run. You're weak, but given that there's going to be a respawning drone there any minute, best to have you forward. Okay, you can deal with the main fight now. Galas, step back, let Ledinor get a nice level 2 kill. Perfection itself. Okay, we can see some gates. There are also some track style drones in the background. An assault drone and a sentry drone. Both annoying. was bad. Try and get the slow in. Alright, now given that that was a slow, that was maximum damage. So, Erethan can try and do some more damage. He's very close to leveling up. Oh yeah, you go Erethan. Didn't think you had it in you. And then you, Malkeshar, can kill this last one. Won't take too much damage in the process. Or indeed no damage. Very nice. Okay, bring you down next to Alinea. You press forward. Now I need to get everyone else back here in time. So that no more drones respawn. Easier said than done. What happened to my- oh yeah, the zombie died. <laughs> Surprise! The drone up there isn't back yet. So I think I can get out of here. Maybe not with this guy. Or maybe I can make sure to stay out of range. So open this next door and see what awaits us. Open it with a necromancer who's pretty hench. Oh, whoa, what? <laughs> well, that's pretty goddamn awful. Suddenly everyone spawns in an area that's surrounded by enemy troops. Um, yeah, alright. <clears throat> it's the heathens. Keep them entertained. There's an iron mauler over here. Chaotic iron mauler, weirdly enough. Iron mauler's normally lawful. Well, I guess this is a chaos iron mauler. What is this now? Keep us entertained for what? Ah, so that's why they need to move everyone. I suppose it's too late to turn back now. Yeah, sheesh, okay. Um, well, it would be nice if everyone wasn't badly wounded, but I guess you have to 
take what you have when it's given. And uh, now that that's just happened, I'm going to take a break. See you next time.